So this is one of the past examination question of APM for December 2020 exam. And uh, this is a question that tests the McKinsey 7S model, which is a very famous model for the business integration. Uh, what is it actually saying? It says the following exhibits available on the left hand side of the screen provide information relevant to the question. The following exhibits available on the left hand side of the screen provide information relevant to the question. The company information is given. That is the background and the mission of the company, Clown Yard, and the details of its takeover by Elric Company. The current situation, information relating to how Elric is integrating Clown Yard into its business. Introduction of an ERPS, the Enterprise Resource Planning System. Details of both companies' information system and a proposal to invest in an enterprise resource planning system. Appendix 1, the McKinsey 7S model. The information should be used to answer the question's requirement, etc., etc. Now, what exactly are the requirements of the question? It says, using the soft elements of the McKinsey 7S model, evaluate whether LRIG is properly aligned with Clone Yard or not. And the second one of them is evaluate the introduction of the ERPS into the LRIG's overall business, including Clone Yard. Now, <clears throat> what exactly is this going to be? So you got to use the soft elements. What are the soft elements? The one of them is basically the shared values. The second one of them is, one of them is the shared values. The other one of them is the skills. The third one of them is the staff. And the fourth one of them is the style. So using the soft elements of McKinsey 7S model, evaluate whether Elric is properly aligned with Clone Yard or not. Now what is available with respect to the company information? Let's talk. It says Clone Yard is a private company which sells shoes to adults and children. Clone Yard has several retail shops. The mission of Clone Yard is to satisfy customers by providing. The mission of the Clone Yard is to satisfy the customers by providing footwear of excellent quality uh, for the modern world. So this is going to be the shared values of Clone Yard. I will just keep on copying things as soon as I progress with the question. Clone Yard has built its reputation on providing footwear to those who have specialist needs in footwear such as minor medical issues and Clone Yard's staff excel at spending time with customers to determine the customer's requirement. So what is your skill set? <clears throat> your skill set is this. that you have got as uh, you have got the expertise of producing the footwear for the minor medical issues and your staff excel at spending time with customers to determine their requirements <clears throat> now what next is there <clears throat> it says clone yard has achieved modest growth over the past five years so they have grow achieved modest growth 12 months ago, Clone Yard was the subject of a successful but hostile takeover bid by Elric, a listed company. Elric's mission is to value consistently to our shareholders by growing, by growing a market share and by offering unrivaled value for money for our customers. So what is their mission? The mission of Elric is that the mission of Elric is that to return the value consistently to our shareholders. Elric's primary motivation for the takeover was to enhance its market share by acquiring a niche operator. 
So this is the skill of clone yard that they are a niche operator. Then it says, in addition, Elric's directors also believe that there is likely to be consolidation in the industry in the near future and the purchase of clone yard by Elric is a reaction to that belief. So they are expecting that there are going to be many of the mergers and the takeovers taking place in the industry so that's why they don't want it to they didn't want to lose out and that is why they have actually gone on for this takeover now it says <clears throat> having acquired cloneyard elric is keen to retain the cloneyard brand and is also keen to ensure that all aspects of cloneyard business operation are integrated into those of elric so they want to integrate every single aspect of uh, this uh, clone yard now next the current situation because elric what it wants to do is that it wants to integrate the whole of elric i repeat uh, whole rig wants elric wants to in integrate the whole of clone yard now Elric has taken a decision at board level that a similar range of inventory is maintained throughout all Elric and Clonyard shops. Managers at Clonyard's individual shops are unhappy. With this, as this is contrary to the individual specialism, which shop managers are encouraged to develop previously, as a result, several managers have left the business. So the managers are what? The managers are unhappy uh, with the individual which shop managers are encouraged to develop. So the style is that managers of clone yards, managers of clone yard are being managed in such a way that they have to focus on their individual specialism. In order to help with integration clone yard into Elric's business, Elric has ensured that each Cloneyard shop will have at least one of the Elric's employee working there. Cloneyard staff have complained. Cloneyard staff have complained that Elric members of the staff are more insured on focusing a sale is made than is spending the time required with the customer. So the staff is more focused on sales. Cloneyard staff has also expressed concern about the lack of technical product knowledge of Elric staff. Now, <clears throat> Elric has retained most of the Cloneyard's directors. These directors have found it challenging to adjust to Elric's focus on pursuing market share. And recently, it is uh, though they don't measure anything else. Every report we get is about market share, and the message is always: we need to, we need more of it as quickly as possible. So the objectives are totally different the way management style is that the management is more focused towards ensuring that they are able to um, get as much market share as possible and as quickly as possible chief executive had recently told was recently told by management consultant that elvik should consider considering mckinsey 7s model to help with integration of cloneyard into elric's operation Management consultant indicated that she felt that Elric should only focus on the four soft elements in this model for now. What is the requirement of the question using the soft elements of the McKinsey 7S? Evaluate whether Elric, evaluate whether Elric, 
evaluate whether L rig is properly aligned with clone yard. Now, I'll start off with the shared values and I would need your inputs. I'll start off with the shared values, I would need your input. Yeah, what should I write with respect to the shared values? Let me know. Okay, now, so what actually happens is, you would talk about it, that the shared values majorly focus upon, focus upon the objective that the organization is created for and the overall environment and the overall environment and and the thought pros present in the overall operations of how the business needs to operate. Both Cloniard and Elric have different shared values. Cloniard is very much focused upon delivering quality goods developing specialization specialist skills focus upon customers and have a lack of focus upon the shareholder value as evidenced by extreme customer satisfaction and the modest growth in shareholder value. Whereas Elric is focused upon doing everything in their own style that is whether it be uh, that is they would always focus upon driving sales for sales in bulk for every type of products that they would trade in. Their major focus is on growth, growth and growth and to provide excessive returns to shareholders and all their and all their actions including 
dealing with customers <coughs> are are directed towards this objective so resultingly you could say that both elric and clonyard are different and it is unlikely that this different mindset could be integrated easily that is something that you would have to talk about yeah do you people get it yeah do you people get it Okay, so what have we done? We've just compared both of these organs. Now this is only possible if you know the McKinsey 7S model. If you don't know the McKinsey 7S model, this is not possible for you to attempt it. It is not possible for you to attempt it in case if you don't know the McKinsey 7S model. So you should actually know the McKinsey 7S model to be able to attempt it. Yeah, this is, this is going to be a bit difficult and it will become a bit difficult for both of them to be integrated easily. Okay, good enough. Now, uh, we talk about the skills now. So what is it that you would write down with respect to the skills? Yeah, I would be happy to have your uh, inputs on this. What would you write down with respect to the skills? Okay, good. Good to see this. That your people are contributing a lot. Now. This is really good to see you people are contributing actively. 
Thank you for this, Nazi. So the skills. The skill set developed at Clone Yard has been majorly focused upon. Has been majorly focused upon obtaining product knowledge. Obtaining product knowledge and to learn about the product in detail they are being encouraged to have this as they are operating in the niche sector whereas the employees at Elric are not very much concerned about are not very much concerned about the are not very much concerned about the product knowledge but are more focused towards achieving sales and driving financial performance which is not a skill set available with clone yard staff based on this the staff the skills of the employees are not aligned with each other their training and development is done on these lines <coughs> now with respect to the staff Okay, the staff at Clone Yard is is having only the technical expertise and when they are being asked to perform other tasks at the stores they are unwilling to learn and preferred to leave whereas the staff at Elric is trained for managing all the shops in a same manner and are not and are and are not focused towards developing their specialized skill so majorly the staff is the broader skill broader competency and the skill is the expertise the staff is the broader competency and the skill is the expertise that is what it is Okay, they are friendly towards the customer. Further, they are least concerned about focusing on customer needs. 
so do you people get it yeah do you get it now okay <clears throat> lastly there is this style what are you gonna say with respect to the style yeah what are you gonna say with respect to the style Okay. The overall approach at Elric is focused towards achieving results. This is evident through the action that was being taken this is evident through the action that was being taken to go for the hostile takeover as it was in line with the aggressive attitude that management has towards achieving the shareholder value growth and returns The Elric wants to get the returns as soon as possible and this aggressive attitude is being adopted to manage employees and their performances for the clone yard their methodology of obtaining or operating across the organization is more of promoting individualism innovation and customer orientation and resultingly the staff resultingly the overall attitude is supportive and encouraging based on all of the above it is unlikely that Elric will be able to integrate clone yard in the present condition this is unlikely this is impossible 
This is unlikely, this is impossible. Yeah, let me know in case of any questions in this. We yeah, are covered in the overall summary below. So that is what we have done. We have implemented the McKinsey 7S model soft elements in this specific question now. Okay, now evaluate the introduction of an ERPS into LRIG's overall business including Cloniard. So let's talk about that now. Introduction of an ERPS. It says LRIG and Cloniard are currently utilizing different computer systems. It is therefore difficult for a staff at all levels of operations to obtain access to the Cloniard's information. Now wait a bit. Let me just zoom it out a bit. Okay, the board, uh, sorry. It is difficult for a staff at all levels to obtain access to Cloniard's performance data. Performance data is not readily available. I'm just, uh, I'm just putting up the points for my reference. The performance data is not readily available. Now what does it say? It says the board of Elric has complained that any information it receives on Cloniard's performance or Cloniard's operational performance is too late to enable the board to make decision due to information system. The information is received quite late and affects the decision making. Then it says the director of operations for the group for example has indicated that she does not see any reports on inventory levels at each clearing yard shop until at least three months into the financial year. The inventory report is not updated inventory report is accessible in three months time 
Further, it says that directors of operation did not see Nasi. She also she has also indicated that cloneyard shops appear to wait too long for goods to be delivered to them from their suppliers. She has also indicated that cloneyard shops appear to wait for too long to be good uh, for goods to be delivered to them from their suppliers. Okay, uh, the orders are not placed in time with the suppliers so that is probably because they don't have the updated access to the data now what am i doing i know that it's about erp i know what an erp is i know it's an integrated system where the whole information is going to be accessible across the organization quite easily i know this thing so what am i trying to do i'm just trying to write down the points that would ultimately help me in writing down the answer the group sales director indicated that the data he receives on clone yards monthly financial performance is at least three weeks late monthly financial performance data is also received late the group sales director indicated that he receives on clone yards monthly financial performance at least three weeks late this offers no opportunity to use to introduce discounted products at an appropriate time which is very common sales approach for elric the sales are affected due to inability to identify the slow moving stock It says Elric's employees in general have expressed concern that Cloneyard's computerized information systems are outdated and that Cloneyard's employees do not use the computer system as much as they should. Staff are not staff are not trained to use the computer system. For example, it was reported that it is common practice for Cloneyard's employee to place an order for inventory over the telephone and not enter the order onto the computer system until the order has been delivered. The recording of information is not done on the timely basis. It says the board of Elric has decided it needs real-time access to Elric's overall business operations including Cloneyard and is considering the purchase of an ERPS. Further, a director of Elric has indicated the use of a shared up-to-date information system such as an ERPS will ensure Cloneyard's operation is completely integrated within the Elric one. Cloneyard's employees will also be delighted with the brand new system. Now, what is the requirement of the question? The requirement of the question is evaluate the introduction of an ERPS into the overall business environment including Cloneyard. Now, when the question says evaluate, so evaluation would mean that you would discuss. Evaluation would mean you would discuss. Now, what exactly are you going to do? Should so say, the introduction of the ERPS in an organization gives rise to the integration of the overall systems within the organization. ERPS helps create a unified shared database with real-time data processing and access to data. There are multiple problems arising due to lack of uh, due to the absence of a of an integrated 
system as the computer systems and their processing time are quite different at both cloneyard and elric with the introduction of the integrated system there will be several advantages that will arise along with few problems that may also occur now what is actually going to happen with respect to it is that presently presently the information is not readily available to the management with respect to the inventory unsold inventory sales other performance information and this resultingly affects the management decision making and also affects the overall performance with the introduction with the introduction of ERPS a real time update on inventory levels slow moving inventory financial performance indicators will be made available any orders placed will be input into the system on a real time basis and the receipt of order would update all the purchase ledgers inventory records on an immediate basis better decision making will be done as the decisions are made on time rather than after several weeks and months of delay however the introduction of erps will be a will be will will bring about resistance from the employees of from the employees of clone yard as they will be constantly monitored which they are not used to plus their performances plus they will have to spend time in managing the systems and inputting of data in computer systems the staff of cloneyard may be resistant 
to adapt to the change okay what I have tried to do is that I have tried to put in the points from whatever I have tried to actually put in the points from whatever pointers whatever pointers that we did uh, so you would now realize that why was I actually uh, compiling that information as soon as we move towards reading the question because I was just trying to figure out the points for my answer and that is what Alhamdulillah I have been able to do You could talk about more at more disadvantages, more advantages also, but this is in general that you would be talking about. Yeah, please, I need your inputs. Are there more things that we can actually add up? Yeah, that is uh, our time saver and this is the technique that you should you, sh you all should adopt Yeah, anyone would like to add up anything, please? Okay, further the cost of ERPS will also impact upon the financial performance additionally a system could only be successful if the data is input correctly and timely in it even if you introduce the ERPs and the staff are not willing to cooperate then this is going to be a problem Yeah, any other point that you have? Yeah, it could create further problems because of the 
A it could create further problems. Okay, we can talk about this point also. The orders are not placed in time with the suppliers. With ERPS, the supplier system could be integrated with the entity system and the orders could be placed immediately once the inventory reaches the reorder level. So that is another advantage with the ERPS. Yeah, I will share that Paul, don't worry. Now, do you people get it now? Okay, good enough, lovely. So we are done with this question also, which was about the McKinsey 7S and about the introduction of ERPS in an organization.